Gremlin Spring Game look just like a family reunion. The classic Will Smith Summertime vibe video was in full effect as the G-Men welcomed all interested prospects and showcased a preview of what their team will look like this year. The environment was just enough to land this beast of a recruit the very next morning. Coach Hugh Jackson and his staff just pressed R1, R2, L1X, left down, right up, left down, right up, because their latest commit is a legit cheat code. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Reggie from HBCU Spotlight, and I'm back with another banger. As you can see, 75% of the channel's viewers are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you will be alerted anytime that I upload a video. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is the story of yet another trailblazer who is out to bring black cards back to prominence. This is the story of Marquise Big Trust Harris. Harris is a 6 foot 5, 210 pound wide receiver from Bossier City, Louisiana, where he attended Bossier High School. I'm not even going to hold you. Big Trust is a grown man on a gridiron. I feel like I'm watching an uncle play with his nephews the way he just mosses the defenders. I reached out to the big fella because I was curious as to how he got the nickname Big Trust. He had this to say, quote, they call me Big Trust because I worked extremely hard through all the adversity I faced. I never gave up. I just kept pushing. I stayed believing in God, and I knew God had a plan, so I just patiently waited my turn. Hashtag, trust the process, end quote. Drop a bomb for that response. How can you not root for someone with a mindset like that? Keep in mind, he is still only a teenager. Now back to the story. Along with playing football, he was an extremely talented basketball player. He was named the Shreveport Times Athlete of the Week for his contributions on the court. Harris and his supporters racked up 18,569 votes and a solid 43.4% of the over 42,000 votes cast in a weekly online recognition. Those numbers allowed Harris to top a field of 11 additional candidates. He averaged 14.6 points. 9.3 rebounds, and 1.8 blocks per game. Marquise is a very humble, soft-spoken young man, but he is a very physically gifted athlete with a high motor. Bozier coach Nick Bohannon said, He has really grown on the basketball court to become a very dominant force in the paint for us this year. He has been a very integral part of our success this year. End quote. This guy is an all-around athlete. He played football, basketball, and even soccer for Bossier High. So it should come as no surprise that the success translate over to the football field. Harris led the Bossier High Bearcats to an improved record during his final season that resulted in a playoff appearance. Big Trust had 24 receptions for 410 yards and 10 touchdowns. Sheesh. If those numbers sound a bit low, that's because they are. He attended a small school in Bossier, Louisiana with a total of around 790 students. The school didn't really keep up with its stats until halfway through the season. Being from Georgia myself, I know who comes to mind when I watch him play, but he talked about himself in an interview. The six foot five, 210 pound receiver had this to say about why he is so good. Quote, my hands are a plus and my speed and size are ideal for the phase and slants, 
end quote. As far as what he wants to improve on, he said, quote, just get a little sharper on my routes, end quote. He models his game after the former Atlanta Falcon and currently Tennessee Titan wide receiver, Julio Jones. He said he wanted to go to a college where he can get his degree and play sports. Well, look no further. Harris has made his college decision and decided to stay in his home state and commit to Grambling State University. Harris is now the fourth wide receiver that the G-Men has landed that is at least six foot three. With all of these new red zone threats they have, DBs are going to have a hard time competing for those jump balls. I'm not sure who Gremlin's quarterback will be this year, but he should put up some crazy numbers with all these weapons to choose from. Thanks for watching the video. If you made it to the end, type in Big Trust in the comment section. Let me know what you think about his commitment. Also, were any of you at the spring game? How was it in person? Let me hear about it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We on the road to 10K. From us, over here at HBCU Spotlight, we're rooting for you, Harris, and looking forward to seeing you shine on the field. We out of here. Peace.